Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. Today, I'm going to be showing you something really cool, and that is going to be how to create this anime sort of background in Adobe Premiere Pro. All created in Adobe, and it's a repeating thing that just keeps going. It's a really, really fun thing to do, and it uses some interesting effects. So you're going to learn a lot in this. So let's get started on this. All we got to do is create ourselves a new sequence to begin, and we're not using any footage here, so make sure this is the output that you want. I'm just going 1080p 23.97 frames per second. But actually, if you're going to create an animation like this, you may want a round number like 24 or 30, just so you don't have those weird frame drops that can uh, make your math a little bit off if you're trying to do it mathematically. Once you have this created, we're going to create ourselves a new color map. So down here in your project tab or up in File New, we're going to click this and we're going to create ourselves a color map. And then we're going to click OK on that. And we just want to choose a color. This is actually going to change here in a second. but. Let's say that instead of the blue one, we want to do something like a, maybe a, an orange, a deep orange. So we'll just choose orange. But like I said, this is just going to sort of be a guide layer because we're actually going to add an effect onto this. The effect we're going to add is going to, whoops, it's going to be the ramp effect. So it's video effects, generate, and then ramp. We're going to take that effect and we're going to drag it onto our color mat. And you see it automatically changes right here. Uh, we want to take the orange effect that we had. So let's actually choose our orange again. And we want that to be the start color. And then we want the end color to be the bright, a brighter version of that. And this is a pretty good background right off the bat. If you're making the animation go left to right, I think it's kind of best to have the start point be over here. So just drag the start point to the left. And then kind of take this one and drag it to the right. You can kind of do like a cross or you can do it over here. If you want a, a different feel, you can change this ramp shape to a radial ramp. And then it'll sort of like come out from here. And it's going to have like this sort of semicircle going. Anything really works here. I like this sort of feeling to it. So that is what we're going to start with. I'm then going to take this color ramp and duplicate it upwards by holding the Alt key. You can also control con C, Control V, copy and paste it. Just make sure you select V2 when you do that so it pastes on the top layer. We're then going to look for an effect called, it's going to be called, uh, basically it's VR and then um, Fractal Noise. So Fractal Noise is something from After Effects and there isn't a one in Premiere Pro except that they tried to expand into virtual reality and therefore they gave us a Fractal Noise that we can work with. And this is where the effect basically comes from. So we're going to take that, that contrast, and we're going to bring it up as high as it goes, up to 400. We're going to take that brightness, and we're going to bring this down a little bit uh, to sort of really just pop those uh, big areas right there. We then want to take the fractal type, and we actually want to keep it right here. You can kind of go through them and see if different ones feel better for you. But overall, I found that the basic works the best here. We want to take the blending mode here, and we want to bring this down to screen. And now you can see that it, it bleeds through right here. So now we have the overall feeling. Then we want to take this and we want to stretch it out to make it sort of like the stronger uh, feel the the lines instead of like these clouds. So we're going to go up to our motion and scale. This is going to be for the entire clip right here. So it's not motion and scale in any of the effects. It's actually of the video itself. We're going to uncheck uniform scale and that's going to allow us to stretch it because now we can scale the width out and we can actually get this sort of stretchy motion right here. And now we have generally the feelings of lines. We're then going to go back down to VR Fractal Noise. And you're going to see under the transform and then the sub settings, we have a lot of different things we can do right here. So overall, we're going to manipulate these to sort of make it feel how we want. You can see the tilt sort of brings it up and down. These are the two eye sockets for VR. That's why it's like you can see it's sort of built for that. But we just kind of want to move this around until we get the lines that we're looking for. And right around there looks good to me. We're then going to go, uh, we can move these around um, more or less to get some like, you know, stronger lines in there. And just really play with these uh, until you get the, v the sort of feeling that you like. Then what we're going to do is we're actually going to animate the sub tilt. This is basically going to create the effect as it goes. So the overall feeling of the clip is going to be created from this rotating. So if you uh, see this, you can actually move them around and you can see this is rotating around a plane in the center. This one sort of rolls it. This is actually a pretty good one as well. And in this situation, I'm actually going to use roll this time because it's actually looking pretty good. So if we go up to the very first here, we're going to create an animation. So we're going to click on this color mat. We're going to animate. Let's bring this back down to zero. 
And then we're just going to move forward however long you want it to be. This is about uh, a minute right here. So let's say that we want to take it out. Let's maybe bring it down to about 20 seconds here, 25 seconds. And then we're just going to animate this up a whole bunch of times. And then now we play it back. And you see that it's it's pretty slow. So we need to do it, go even faster. We're getting some speed here. And of course, if you don't have the speed you like, just keep bringing it up until you do. And overall, we have a good, you know, sort of anime going here. This is actually looking a little retro because we have, it's a little choppy in the motion, but it's looking like a usable effect. Another way you can pull off this effect is instead of animating this one, you can animate the sub uh, tilt right here. So if you click on this one, we can do the exact same thing. We can bring it over, move forward like 25 or so seconds, and then just bring it up a whole bunch of revolutions. And you see that we have sort of a, a faster one, but the they don't change as much with this one. So it looks like sort of constant motion, um, almost like you're going over water and there's a reflection on the water. And that also creates a fun background here. And then finally, if you want to do this animation, we also have the ability to animate it using the random seed. This is going to create really strong action. So we want to create the random seed here. And then this one has to be a little shorter. So we're going to go around 15 seconds. And we just want to cycle this random seed up. And now what it's going to do is you see that it's randomizing everything, but it's also making it feel really, really, really fast. And so that's the third way you can animate it. Really, you just want to choose whichever fits yours best. I'm kind of liking the roll for this one. So I'm going to just recreate that animation. Uh, go right. We'll go the 15 seconds. It's a little easier to animate. We'll bring it up to like four here. Check the speed. A little slow there. Bring it up a little more. Still a little slow. Let's bring it up a whole lot. And there we go. So we got a pretty good motion right here. So now we have a bunch of different ways that we can uh, animate this or to change it up. So if we copy this layer up, we actually have the ability to like sort of create two different versions of the effect. So if we, for example, scaled this less, or maybe we scaled the height of one of them a little bit, and the top one, we reduce the opacity a touch. We now are going to have like sort of two areas of motion and we could slow one down. We can combine the effects, try to darken one of them. You can create it just a little bit more in depth that way. Another way that we can sort of manipulate the motion is if we click on the, uh, the layer with the motion on it. If we go to the VR fractal noise, we can sort of cordon off where we want the motion to be. So for example, we can expand this out a little bit, add some feather to it. And then now it's just sort of a center bit of motion. If we wanted to rotate it, we also have that ability. So let's go ahead and take that mask and delete it. If we take this top layer and we go up to the rotation, we can rotate it across. Now you're going to see there's these sharp lines on the edges. And to fix that, what we want to do is we want to take this and go to the opacity and set another one of those masks, bring it out a little bit, add some feather. And now we have this sort of uh, this blitz of motion going through. If we wanted to go the other way, it's really easy as well. Just flip that on around, and now it's going top left to, top, to bottom right. Maybe we add a couple extra little elements in the sides there to get that, that, that really animate feeling in it. But overall, this is a very versatile effect, and it's actually now, because they added VR Fractal Noise, creatable in Premiere Pro. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go to that subscribe button. I make a video every other day. And until next time, guys, see ya.